we're releasing the Lens Island Harvest Moon update in just five days. So today I'm giving you a developer preview of what to expect in the upcoming update. Hi, I'm Steph from Flow Studio and I've got a lot of new content that I'm excited to show you, including a thrilling new world event, resource mining outposts, fast travel, town upgrading, defensive towers, building updates, and the cute new rabbits. With that being said, let's dive right in. The Harvest Moon update will bring three new resource mining outposts to Lens Island Overworld that can be purchased with gold. There will be a lumber mill that mines wood and hardwood, a mining quarry that mines stone and coal, and a metal refinery that mines salvage metal. You can find them on their very own islands that spawn across the map. These resource mining outposts are a huge benefit to players as they provide a constant stream of resources that are automatically transported into a storage pile and synced with the player's storage systems. They will also work at super speed during Harvest Moon events, but at this time they can become a target for enemies, so make sure to protect them. This update will introduce a brand new Harvest Moon World event that occurs every week in-game and offers exciting new fortifying combat in a way that's both strategic and enjoyable to play. Harvest Moons are an enticing new addition to Lens Island, as they give you the opportunity to collect an abundance of resources. Crops will grow four times their average speed, and newly erected mining outposts will produce resources at a much quicker rate. However, you won't be the only one awake during these lunar events. Voidlings awaken during the harvest moon and lurk in the darkness on the islands. During this event, you must protect your mining outposts as they can be brutally attacked and damaged by waves of enemies. New defensive weapons will be available through the build menu and can be used to help fight back, including buildable cannons and auto-aiming ballista towers that really pack a punch. To find out when the harvest moon will happen, a new clock will be added to the bottom left screen that will indicate when the event will take place. And for any peaceful players out there, never fear as the harvest moon will be able to be skipped at any point by either sleeping through the event or staying hidden down in the caves for the full duration. The harvest moon update will bring plenty of new content to the towns including the reintroduction of the much-loved town advancement system and a highly requested new fast travel feature. You'll find that new bulletin boards and broken portal systems will be present in each town. When clicked, the boards will display a town goal that can be completed with an exchange of resources. There are three levels to unlock in each town, and with every one completed, the town appearance will improve and you'll be rewarded with a large sum of gold. Once all three upgrades have been completed in a town, the town's portal will be unlocked, allowing you to fast travel between each town. Portals will also be available in the build menu, so you can even get creative by adding to the portal network yourself. Speaking of getting creative, there'll be some major changes to the build system too. The Harvest Moon update will allow you to snap foundations to the bottom of foundation steps, walls, and to other foundations at various heights. The building height restriction will be based on the global height of the world instead of limiting floor levels. The building level toggle has been simplified to one button, and there'll be a new build hammer that can be used to repair any damaged building piece to full health. Your player will also be able to move freely in build mode instead of panning controls too. All these changes are intended to transform building in Lens Island, making it easier to use but also allowing for more complex structures to be created. And finally, let's not forget about rabbits that will be released into the Lens Island wilderness. These creatures can be found on any island except the desert and tropical biomes and can be hunted for their rawhide. If hunting isn't your thing, we have an alternative option. Alex from Bridgewater Town will start trading rawhide in the Harvest Moon update. I hope you've enjoyed this developer preview and are looking forward to the release of the Harvest Moon update on November 22nd. If you want to play an early build before anyone else, be sure to join our Patreon. There's a link below in the description. Bye for now.